Hey y'all, this is Megan McMillan. We are here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at Eat My Beats headquarters. Uh, this is our EMB Artist Series for YouTube and today I have one of my favorite local songwriters, Mr. Mike Woodard. How are you? Doing great. Glad Doing to be great. here. Good. Okay. Where are you from, Mike, initially? A uh, beginning uh, in a little town called McShann, Alabama, which okay. is about 30 miles west of Tuscaloosa. Okay. All right. I'm from a small town too. I don't yeah. think you've ever heard of it, but I won't mention it here. We might talk about that later. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm actually also from about 30 minutes south of here. So um, it's good that you're a hometown boy. Growing up, did you have a lot of musical influences? Were there diverse influences, or was it all country, or what do you, what do you think? Well, I mean, I listened to a lot of music. I didn't play it, except mm -hmm. I played the trumpet in the band. Did you? Okay. And, uh, and I was pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's something about trumpet that just didn't work out once I got out of school. Yeah. To just keep on playing that trumpet by myself. It mm -hmm. kinda, it's kind of a, an also... Uh, right instrument so you have to have other people playing mm -hmm. other instruments around you and exactly you know, out in the country there ain't a whole lot of people around to play with you all the times you know so mm -hmm. I got a guitar then because it's an instrument that you can play kind of by yourself right. and, and uh, off to yourself and, and it still sound pretty good mm hmm exactly okay so with the trumpet though you probably learned some music theory you probably learned right. some of the basics about Learn how to read sheet sheet music and uh, and yeah learn some basics about music and then my my growing up I, uh, my influences were a lot of rock and roll uh, things like Led Zeppelin or uh, but things with a single instrument, more of a Jimmy Buffett or James Taylor mm -hmm. uh, type influences that kind of do help me do what I do now right. with the guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, because, as I say, I, I'm, I typically am a solo artist when mm -hmm. I'm playing, and uh, my, my, my big love is writing songs, mm -hmm. just writing songs. I don't really like to play. I can play covers, I can play other people's music, but I'm, I like to play things that have come out of me. Exactly, so like, exactly. Know. There's something magical about there being nothing and then there's a song out of nothing. You know right. what I mean? That's a right. really cool thing. So when did you start writing music? I actually didn't start writing that much until say around the year 2000 or so and, and some of the songs I wrote back then I don't even, I didn't keep the words to or anything mm -hmm. but um, I learned some covers and it was only in the past few years, say about 2000 12 or so that I started really writing some material in earnest mm -hmm. and I had a friend of mine Mike Brandon who got me on the stage uh, for the first time and, and that was a whole process of learning how to be on the stage oh, be in yeah. front of people and, and you know you're nervous because there are all those people out there <laughs> and then you're nervous because you don't know whether your stuff is good enough for right. people to actually want to listen to and but after you've done it about 10 or 12 times you know you you kind of settle down mm -hmm. and start saying, well, okay, they tell me they like it. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but they tell me they like it. As long as they say they like it. As long as they, as like they say it, they, yeah. they tell you like it. <laughs> that's right. Okay, well, good. Yeah, and that's that's something that a lot of people, I don't think, realize unless you are actually um, have actually had some experience performing. It looks so easy. When you see somebody up on stage just sitting there playing a song, you know, you really don't think about everything that goes into it, everything, all the preparation that's gone behind and everything it takes just to sit there and to play something that you've created to a bunch of strangers who may or may not like it. So mm -hmm. it takes a lot of guts. It really doesn't a lot of preparation. Um, so what motivates you to write songs? Well, I, th I think for me, it's kind of a crossword puzzle. I like to put them together. There's mm -hmm. an assembly almost of songs to me and they're all based on experiences that I've had in life. So I kind of try to draw from one experience to the other to write a particular type of song. Uh, and so I have written quite a few mm -hmm. at this point. And, um, you know, some of them I consider myself to be better than others. Right. And I like to play them, perform them, but some I like to play for myself kind of. Yeah, know. yeah, I know. So it's, uh, it's uh, but uh, you know, things that have happened like, uh, uh, say like a friend dying in Vietnam. Uh, I remember back when that happened and I, that inspired me to write a song uh, about that. And, um, or uh, things like, um, you know, drinking beer. I, I, I started the song uh, Ocean of Beer. So yep. it, different things inspire me to write different. And so some of the songs are uplifting, some of them are fun, some mm -hmm. of them are sad. And I just have a, a complete selection that I've, yeah. I've written now. 
Well, that's good. We need all types, and it takes yeah. talent to be able to do one or the other. You know, um, yeah. sometimes people have their niche and they can write a certain type of song and can't really go to the other side of the coin and write something different because it is it's a very different process. I think right. you know of doing that. Well, I love writing the songs. I like the creating part. I'm not really that great at playing the guitar. I haven't ever spent that much time just really getting good on the guitar or the music. Uh, but that, uh, there again, that's not really what inspires me to, what inspires me is to write a song and, and create a, a song that, uh, that I hope uh, conveys a, a, a feeling and a, and, a, and a heartfelt feeling to the people who are, are listening. And um, so it's not really maybe about music as much as it is the creative process of writing a, 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 a concept or, mm -hmm. or a theme exactly. that, that people can relate to, hopefully, mm -hmm. from right. what I've written. Right. Okay. Well, we're lucky to have uh, have you have the desire to connect with people because that's what music does, you know. It right. doesn't matter what kind of song it is. You can be singing about floating in a boat, drinking beer, or, yeah. you know, you can be writing a, just the saddest song in the world. And somebody out there is going to connect with that song if you put your emotion into it. Right. People can really tell. So what advice would you give to somebody who had never written a song but always wanted to? Um, what advice would you give somebody who's just starting out? Well, I think a song, every song should have a beginning and a middle and an end. And that may seem like a, going without saying, but a lot of people I've seen write songs, they, they don't really have a good defined beginning and they don't really have a real good defined ending to the song. That's, that's something that I, I believe that is, you know, makes the listener first, the beginning gets them involved in it, and then there's the body of the, of the song to where they say, okay, I'm getting the message. And at the end where you say, okay, there's closure. Uh, we, we, now I'm closing the song out, and I think that's uh, the advice that I would give to a songwriter. And I also think that um, to draw from your life experiences, to write something that um, that has touched you, um, and and that that usually brings a more emotional appeal. And I see a lot of people write sad songs, but I also advise people if you're writing songs, don't just don't be uh, one directional, be omnidirectional. Uh, write songs about a, a variety of different things and a variety of, of different uh, uh, feelings so you don't uh, bog down on one particular uh, set of uh, themes to your song. Mm -hmm. That's really good advice. That's solid. <laughs> <laughs> That's really solid. That's good. And the other thing I would advise somebody is uh, once you've written the song, uh, I spend a lot of time practicing that song. If you're going to perform it live, then you should be well versed at that song to where when you get up in front of people, you're going to be you're going to be nervous, and you can't help it. And if you really don't know your material real well, you can mess up, and then you'll you kind of almost embarrass yourself. So, practice your song a whole lot, and while you're practicing it, you can hone in on it to to sharpen it, to uh, clean it up, to to find the flaws in it and take them out, and and uh, maybe come up with another line or two to to flesh it out, to make it you know, come real for the listener. Right. So that's, that's another thing I would advise a writer. Because mm -hmm. do. delivery is extremely important. Delivery is really song. important if you're going to get up in front of people and, and do it. You're going to need to, uh, to have it clean and, and practice well rehearsed. And so I play uh, regularly, almost every day. Mm -hmm. I practice. And I play my songs that I've already written, trying to I, you know, dress them out, to get them right. Get them right. And at the, in the, during the same sessions, I will, a lot of sessions, I'll start a new song. I won't, mm -hmm. I won't just play my, the stuff that I've already learned, but I don't, I don't neglect the things that I've already written. Mm -hmm. I, I want to make right. sure that I've got them tight. Exactly. And then uh, a lot of times, a, a lot of times the strumming around the guitar, or thinking about thoughts will lead to another, um, another theme, another song, and, that, and then I, I try to not come up with a whole bunch of songs at one time. Just right. One at a yeah. time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because you want it to be good. You, you want, do. You want, your, you want each piece that you create to be a, a work, mm -hmm. a good work. And, exactly. Uh, that's, but, but, but the other one is have fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, if this isn't fun, you're in the wrong business. Right. I mean, it, you, it's, a, it's all fun to me. It's a, it's a hobby. I've never tried to make any money doing it. Uh, but I love it, and so I want to do it right. I want to do it correctly, even if it's not about making money or whatever. It's, it's a, there's a lot of people play golf. Mm -hmm. They aren't doing it professionally. 
But they still take it really seriously. They aren't that great, <laughs> but they play the best they can. Mm -hmm. So practice and do the best you can. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, is there any artist or maybe two or three artists uh, now currently that you're really into? In the music well, Megan thing? McMillan is oh, my favorite. Oh, yeah. I've heard of her. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, local people, I guess I'm more into uh, people who I... Uh, I see like you, seriously, uh, that that are creating new things. I mean, sure, I've heard the radio songs over and over again, as has most everybody. So you, you know, I, I, I'm I'm more interested in hearing people bringing out new things. That's why I love being around other songwriters mm -hmm. because they they inspire me, and also some of their work, not all of it, but some mm -hmm. of their work I've, I, is really good. And you're like, wow, without these songwriters, I would have never heard that, mm -hmm. you know, and it wouldn't have been created. Yeah. So everybody can turn on the radio and listen to them repeat the same song <laughs> set over and over. Yeah. And, but uh, the, the thing about songwriters is that they are creating uh, new things and different things that, that maybe I haven't ever heard before, and, and I enjoy that. Right, okay. Well, that's kind of what we're trying to do here with the MB Artist Series. You know, we're finding right. songwriters, um, most of them are independent that we have on our series here. Some of them are signed. Um, but, you know, it, there are people who are not mainstream and people who that we have found and said, hey, they have something really special that we want to bring right. out and let, let more people see and hear. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let you play one of your original songs. Uh, what okay. did, you, did you decide what you're going to play I yet? haven't decided, but I'm sure by the time I get my guitar picked up, okay. Will come to my mind. Great. Well, it'll be a surprise. We've got Mr. Mike Woodard here, and we'll be right back. dream 